Welcome to another video. This video is going to be about this paper towel and how we can solve my problem that you're about to see. So let's just get started. Have you ever needed a paper towel? You go get it, one hand is tied up and it falls down. I have had this issue and I'm sure you have too. Paper towel falls off the shelf because one hand is wet, another hand is wet, and you try not to get the whole paper towel wet or one hand is busy. You need something to hold this. You need a paper towel holder. And you know, instead of going to the store and uh, buying one that probably break within two or three days, I got a 3D printer. So let's print and fix the problem. And instead of just getting one that's set on the counter that probably will tip over with a base, I want one to go underneath here. And I might can clean up this mess I got of stacked goodies too while I'm at it. So the first thing we need to do is get on the internet Try to find this STL file. There's a couple websites for that. Thingiverse should should have a good one for a paper towel holder. I'm sure someone somewhere said we need that. If they ain't, we just make one in Tinkercad. It, it's yeah. How hard can it be a paper towel holder? But hopefully, uh, someone good in the community of 3D printing out there has got a good uh, paper towel holder design. Dreaded paper towel holder and who's it's by? Angry Smash Crotch. Match. Sorry about your name. This is the makes everybody's done so far. Look how good this design is. Oh, you can mount it. I never thought about mounting it that way. It's a very good design. Let's start printing. Now we got the files we need. We're going to go to print. This is the box lab of Kiwa. Paper towel holder. We're going to preheat everything. The nozzle temperature is 202, what I run this at, and I'm putting in PLA, and the bed temp, I run this PLA at 65. I don't think we have no issue with this print. So you ain't gonna have a time lapse because I have no time lapse camera on this uh, printer at the moment. Now these files, if you have a bigger bed, you could print them all at once, you know, both at the same time, all three pieces. If you stand them straight up, uh, with supports, you probably could point these pieces. Want to be a little tricky, as you will see here when we go to assemble it. After a lot of hours, we are done. Now I printed these piece by piece. You could probably print them all on the same bed, just set them up like this with supports, you know, or something like this. You could fit everything on one print on one of these smaller enders, or what I got here. A Vox Lab. The print quality on this, this is uh, with PLA orange. It's extremely good. Now, I actually printed this pretty fast at a pretty fast speed at a 20% infill and it turned out extremely good. This is the last piece. I haven't cleaned it up yet. You can see we still got supports in here. I generated supports for this because I was scared the threads would be a mess and now I gotta clean all this out. It's the only one I generated supports on was this. I didn't use no supports for this and it turned out good. This is the knob here. It just screws in. This is actually the redesigned version of it. This is the file from here. This is the original hangers that we uh, found on Thingiverse. The ones I printed got holes for screws and I just screwed them up into my cabinet using very thin screws. You just twist this and your paper towel roll comes down just like so. You can space it to whatever you like. To install a new one, it just slides in just like so. You take your knob, put your knob in here, twist it in. And we're good to go. I don't know about you, but that turned out great. In my personal opinion, having a 3D printer around the house is very helpful, especially in situations like that. You know, Thingiverse is a great place to get STL files. Got a great community. Uh, the community always remixing files, other people's files and stuff, and always making improvements. Great place to check out. Tons of sites too like that. You can also design your own STL files. You could design your own paper towel holder from scratch. But that's another video for another topic. I personally enjoy having a 3D printer and this has made my life a lot better with this paper towel holder. You know, no more falling paper towels on the floor trying to dry your hands. Easy got to, very helpful. Cleans up the kitchen a little too. So if you enjoyed this video and you're new, get subscribed. 
If you would turn the subscriber, thank you for watching another one of my videos. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.